my five tips for building tempo in four octave scales. We all want to play fast and we all want to play clean, so here are some great tips to help you do that. First of all, my first tip is to make sure that you curve your fingers on the white keys and the black keys. I find when I'm teaching that students often curve on the white keys but not the black keys. It's very common to see this on scales. And I'm using B major as an example today because I find it's a pretty comfortable key to do and I want to get a mix of white keys and black keys as well. So make sure that when you play the black keys, your hand is at a height that you can play your fingers curved rather than staying low here and then having to play those fingers flat. You want to stay here instead, so a little bit higher in your position. So that's my first tip, so white keys and black keys. So tip number two, you want to keep your thumb on an angle so that your wrist stays nice and level. So it's very common to play your thumb like this, which makes it hard to stay curved on the black keys. You end up adjusting your height of your wrist up and down like this. Two things happen. You get a clunky thumb, and it's hard to build tempo because your wrist is going like this and like this. So try this at home. Just zip your hand across like that without moving your wrist up and down. Now try to get the same speed while wiggling your wrist. You actually can't. So if you want to build really good tempo, make sure that your thumb is on this angle so that your wrist can stay level the whole time and you can just zip across sideways. Like that. Tip number three. You want to keep your fingers close to the keys. So it's very common that, I, something that I see a lot is that students like to wiggle their fingers up and down like this. But if you think about it, if your finger is high, you have to go this distance to that distance in order to hit the key. You can play much faster if you're already on the key. You only have to go down this far instead of going down this far. It's going to be faster for sure. So keep your fingers almost touching the keys as soon as you cross over. And then that way, you can also play a lot faster. My fourth tip is to rotate your thumb thumb to cross your fingers. So what do I mean by that? I'm going to show you this one with my right hand. So when I land here on my thumb, rather than picking up my fingers to move them over here, like this, what I'm going to do instead is when I land my thumb, I'm going to rotate my thumb slightly and that's going to move my hands. So try this at home. Just put your thumb down and rotate your fingers back and forth. You see how quickly I can go over the other keys? And I haven't, now here I'm coming back down. Slight rotation. That zipped me over those other notes. Like that. It's a whole lot faster than picking up your fingers and moving them. My final tip is to keep your upper body behind the notes you are playing and you use your body weight for a nice clear tone. So as I come up the scale, I'll show you nice and slowly, I keep my upper body behind the notes that I'm playing. That way I can get my full body weight into the bottom of the keys rather than trying to do this and then my fingers come up here and they don't have any support in behind them. Okay, so you move your body up, then you move your body back down. So let's do that scale one more time in action. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to check out other videos on our channel. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Miriam's Online Academy. Check back here for more videos and don't forget to subscribe below.